Welcome back to the post-divorce existence. This is my latest video. Um, today I wanted to talk about uh, decision making. And I wanted to also mention that in the context of feeling that all sorts of problems are converging at once. And to take a kind of a page from my own personal experience, as of yesterday I had an experience where I woke up in the morning um, and I felt um, uh, uneasy because I'd had a dream about my, my ex and in that dream I was in some place and you know I had encountered her and it was it was very real it was it was extremely real and it was unsettling in the in the sense that it felt so real that it almost made it seem like this whole thing didn't exist the whole reality of my my day um and so when i woke up and let that kind of slowly uh fade away i made a note to myself about what the dream uh what details of the dream and i thought to myself hmm that's interesting but it cast kind of a, a, a shadow over my day. And, and and more so than that, I mean, it's like, he, he, here's the scenario. When you get divorced from somebody, you know, you have the, the, the material separation and the spatial separation. But there's also that spiritual uh, separation. I think that's somewhat harder to kind of divorce from um, and plays itself out in your mind, in various aspects, um, manifesting themselves inside of you. And, you know, I've also just know, you know, people who know me, I've, I've been having some severe back problems and um, trying to get over those things as well. And that's been very, it's very difficult. And I'm also trying to find meaningful work. And all the while trying to kind of figure out like where I should be and, and what I should be doing in order to like move on with the rest of my life. Um, these things on their own, I should say, these things on their own are, are Herculean tasks. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody else. I mean, we all face these things separately and in different ways. We all bring to the table a different set of skills to tackle these problems but i found for myself that i always reach an impasse with myself when i am confronted with multiple issues that are alarms you know and i don't know exactly how i should deal with them and which i should prioritize um i once was a employee of, of a cell phone company and um, Nokia, you know, and um, in China. And I remember before I even got hired officially, the company had opened up an, an email box for me. And probably two weeks prior to my onboarding. And um, when I signed in, I had like 400 something messages. And I was like completely overwhelmed. I was just like, <laughs> I was reading one by one by one, you know, everything from the banal stuff like lunch options to, you know, people sending you PowerPoint decks and that kind of stuff. I had a hard time. I had a hard time like basically uh, figuring out how to prioritize things. And I had to turn to a friend of mine who was in the corporate world for a while to ask him methods by which I could prioritize things and you know he talked about things and you know like uh, basically if emails were directly sent to you not just cc you know to you that that was a more of a priority than just like simply copying you or on a, on a huge email list and that some of that stuff was just meant for you to see but anyway long story short is that sometimes it, it reminds me of those days when i had that when i had that email so much email inundating my, my inbox and feeling kind of powerless, feeling like I didn't know where to turn my efforts because so many things were requiring my efforts. 
And so for me, I've, I, I'm trying to get to a point in my daily life where I don't need necessarily always to consult with other people. I've, I've, I've sometimes put too much of my decision-making power in the hands of other people. And that's because I have maybe been afraid to make those decisions myself. Um, and, and on the other hand, maybe it was that I just wanted to seek wiser counsel to see like if my own gut feelings would, would receive some kind of confirmation from, from the people around me who I consider some of my trusted advisors. But I'm trying to make more decisions in a more timely fashion because in, in the past I just let things languish. And I think like that's another kind of, um, fallout of, of, um, divorce is that the timeline gets messed up in terms of you have to summon this great energy to be able to motivate yourself because there are days where it is just unbearable. You know, and I've talked about that, I've talked about the Groundhog Day existence. I've talked about waking up every single day and you know, maybe waking up motivated and then all of a sudden hitting mud, you know, that happens and it happens a lot. And, um, but it's a journey, you know, and um, and and so yesterday I, I found myself in this extremely negative headspace, thinking to myself, "Well, here I have all these issues surrounding me. I have an apartment where the rent is, you know, sky high, and I need to figure out like how to how to how to make this happen. Um, you know, I have." serious back problems. I have to find a job either here in the United States or in China. And I have to like, you know, overcome, you know, even though it's been two years now since I've been moved back to the States, you know, uh, as a friend told me last night, a sizable portion of my life, you know, obviously was spent overseas. And it's, it's been a, a steep learning curve for me to come back to my own culture. And to figure out like where I need to be, where I need to 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 find meaningful work, um, where where can I find meaningful work, and to then also take those skills that I developed in China and somehow make them work here. Because to be honest with you, um, and this there's probably somebody out there who's gone through this. I know a friend of mine has a another friend who's going through the same thing right now. She's uh, coming back. She's a teacher, and she's coming back to the United States. And it's um, after living overseas for for a long period of time, and it it is it is in and of itself difficult because I'm I'm also realizing in terms of my age. You know, I'm almost forty seven years old, and I should be in the in the in the golden period of whatever career that I have created for myself but here I am two years into the United States um, barely hanging on with some kind of freelance work and trying to figure out trying to figure out like what is my next move now some people say hey you know take a short-term lateral move you know get a job at a grocery store and I've applied to a job at grocery stores didn't get anything you know, they say it's the greatest job market, you know, since, you know, the 1950s, but I, I haven't really seen that in, in, in effect in terms of like m the results that I've had, but your results may be different, obviously. So I'm trying to figure out all these things, trying not to pillory myself with negativity, but sometimes it's hard because, you know, all these things hit at once. They all hit at once, and they feel can feel overwhelming. Um, but, you know, how did I manage to pull myself a little bit towards more of a positive headspace? Well, I was having a good discussion with a friend of mine on the phone. Sometimes that's all it takes is a, is a conversation. But, you know, yesterday I could feel, you know, and, I, and I'm trying to be as honest as I possibly can for people out there because you know what? It's like if I can help somebody, you know, through this, it's great. I just felt like um, just 
at one point I felt just incredibly negative because I felt, you know, with my back problem, how can I find work? You know, if I can't find work, how can I stay in New York? You know, and and if and if, if if I can't figure out what I want to do, like, you know, if I go back to China, what am I going back to? Because I have basically an unknown there. You know, I used to live in China and I had all these friends, but a lot of these friends seem to have like, you know, evaporated into thin air and um, don't come uh, knocking on my door asking how I'm doing or interfacing with me. And I've talked about that as well. It's like, who knows? You know, people could be just out of sight, out of mind. But, you know, maybe some people are just like, that's it. So, you know, it, it is a very difficult situation, which I don't know if I have the answer at this point. I'm feeling more positive today. Um, my back, you know, <laughs> is hurting me. But, you know, I'm feeling more positive today. But have I moved the needle any? Um, I applied for a job today. But, you know, many times the jobs I apply for, my resume just goes into that black hole, that digital black hole. You never know. You never get any feedback as to what's going on or if even people have looked at it. So... So I guess what I'm saying to you is, you know, there will be days in this post-divorce existence where everything seems out to get you and conspiring against you. And the, and the overwhelming feeling will be such intense negativity that it's actually amazing that you're able to survive it. And I have to think to myself that I'm going through this for some reason, some purpose. You know, some of my religious friends say these are tests that you constantly experience until you learn something from them. Well, okay, you know, I can accept that. I can accept that I'm being taught something. What that is necessarily, I'm not 100% sure. I can understand that I'm learning self-reliance and I'm learning to have some mechanisms hopefully to to uh to to deal with you know this stuff it, were it to happen in the future but you know it's um it's not easy because not many people can afford 2 years in their life like to just sit there and like float you know i mean i happen to be lucky that i have some savings and i'm just you know eating all my savings but i'm of the belief that you know, something is going to break here sooner or later. And, um, and so, yeah, so, you know, I wish everybody out there good luck who is going through uh, a divorce breakup and um, having to face this because it can be an extremely trying period of one's existence. Now, some people that I know have, have managed to like, you know, write themselves a new chapter in their life, get a job and 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 create new opportunities for themselves and and that's a wonderful thing and i think ultimately that's that is what will lead you out of this dark you know hole if you want to call it that or this 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 like dip in your existence because having somewhere to channel your motivations, aspirations, something that resonates with your soul in terms of work, in terms of being around people, will probably be a great lift, you know, to, to, to helping you deal with other things in your life. So, anyway, if you like the video, give it a like, share it with some friends who you think might be able to use this information, who are going through stuff, and um, that's it. I... Hope you guys got something out of it. Take care, everybody.